Good morning, everybody. It is day five, I think. I've lost count of the days, and it is, I don't even know if it's a weekend or not. Today, we are hopefully gonna do some shopping, and uh, there's a party tonight. So, it is 30 degrees outside, super hot. I really regret not bringing my sunscreen, so probably will be purchasing some today. My uncle's here driving us to meet uh, some family. And Eric's there as well. And we're in Macau again. We took the late night bus, uh, in, or we took the late night boat from Hong Kong to get to Macau and we didn't get home till 1 p.m. So, at uh, 1 a.m. So definitely like we slept and was knocked out for a really long time and we woke up late today. But it's really good weather. This is the best weather that we've had since we've been on this trip. So we are gonna totally take advantage of it to go out a bit and explore. Um, yeah, that's mostly it for today and I will see you later. Eric's eating a German burger Guten from McDonald's. Dank. German what? Sausage burger? Uh, German chicken sausage. Chicken sausage burger? McBurger. McBurger. Show us what's inside. There's a... It's like a double downer because... Like, what is it? Double down? The Kentucky Fried Chicken one? Because it has... It has a um, chicken... It has a sausage. No, it has a crispy chicken. Crispy chicken and sausage, and then has, like, um, or grilled, or something. grilled onion. It's a pretty cool sandwich. How does it taste? Mm, it's not bad. It's, it's a bad. little bit spicy, actually. Spicy? It does look spicy because there is some red sauce in there in the chicken, and that looks like a horseradish. Mm. <laughs> She's not tasting it. She's actually just eating. <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I didn't think it would be bad. What are you talking about? I was expecting it because there's like cheese and I thought it would be really um it would taste very greasy, but it's not that greasy actually. The ice coffee tastes different here compared to Toronto. Like it's not as sweet because they give you sweetener on the side, so you can put as much um, sweetener as you like. So it's really good. And they give I, I like that they give wedges instead of fries because wedges it feels like there's more substance <laughs> like there's yeah it feels like there's more substance to it hey guys we did a lot of makeup shopping i'm really excited to show you guys what i bought and i'll probably be doing a haul video but i wanted to show you this building here behind me right here it uh the architectural design is really like portuguese buildings where it's kind of the pastel yellow and white and I'll show you what it looks like close up, okay? You see here? Another thing to, that you'll notice, I'll show you here. This is an administrative building. All the buildings, the names, they have Portuguese and Chinese. There's no English here. Everything is in Portuguese and Chinese and this is an administrative building. It's awesome that they could keep the Portuguese language in this city just because 
I think there's a lot of culture. Um, there's a lot of culture behind it. So everything is Chinese and Portuguese. Those are the two official languages in Macau. And um, yeah, it's really different from Hong Kong, where the main two languages is Chinese and English. without trying some Portuguese tart. We're at Lord Stowe's Cafe. Lord Stowe is kind of where the Portuguese tarts kind of started in Macau and um, my uncle told us that it's where it kind of originates from and everybody else just makes uh, Portuguese tarts similar to Lord Stowe's. So we are going in to have a little try of the tart. I wish this was smell vision right now because it smells so awesome in here like just the Portuguese tarts that are just out of the oven. Mm. It's so good. And you can see the egg. Just the burnt top layer. It's not too sweet. The crust is super flaky and it's so pandas first. Macau has two of uh, two pandas and it, they are located in here. Look at those duckies. Oh wait, I meant these duckies. And there's koi fish. Wow, that's a lot of koi fish in one pond. It's all gathered in one area though. Oh look at that! It's real this time. Not those statues outside. It's not like those statues outside. Look at him, he's eating. I'm gonna zoom in. So oh, cute! Hello! This is one of them, but we, there's another panda on the other side as well. So let's go see the other panda. So this is the second panda. Let's see. I am giant panda Jinsen. I think it's heart. Heart. I like to eat bamboos while I enjoy the sunshine at my recreation room. But I am a bit shy and sensitive to sensitive noise. So we have to be really quiet in here. That's why it says no loud. So it'll return back into the room if they're scared. Look at this. He's so cute. This one. This one's like a this one's like a lazy pig. It's like lying down and eating his bamboos. These are the things we need to do. Be quiet. Don't give them food. No flash photography. No touching. Don't eat here and don't smoke here, of course. But here. Ombro e dorso. Oh, so shoulder and back. So that's how you tell the difference between the male and female. And the male has kind of like a round back, the white. And the female has a pointy back. That's what it's teaching us. So that's really cool. So adorable. Hey guys, so I'm all out of breath because we climbed up a mountain to see this and this is the, one of the largest Buddhas in the world, I think is one of them um, and it's in Macau and it's on this island so let's go see it I'm so sweaty right now Look at how big she is So this Buddha Let's go 
Let's go look at the label because I don't want to tell you guys false information. So this is the goddess Ma, sculptured by Le Manning, calligraphy of Chen Shifa. So this is the goddess Ma. The proportion is a lot smaller than the Jesus statue in Brazil. It's really detailed. The stuff is really detailed and if we look out across you can see that we're on a mountain.